Hey everybody, Scott Wilkinson here. I'm the editor of avsforum.com and I'm here in the Samsung First Look event with Scott Cohen, Senior Product Training Manager for television and various other things. Uh, cool home electronics and stuff, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, some big news here today. Why don't you tell us about it? Oh, it is big news, uh, both literally and figuratively. We're standing in front of the wall, a new 146-inch micro-LED TV from Samsung. So, uh, we're moving on to a new technology, micro-LED. It's going to be uh, commercially available for the first time. Uh, so, this is based on kind of a large uh, LFD, or the big digital signage uh, that you see out in, in the outdoors. And now we've shrunk it down and brought it to the home. What's great about the wall is it, we are showing it in 146 inch, which is a specific size based really on the average height of wall to uh, floor to ceiling in an American home so that they'd be able to fit this in there. Um, but it is, it's a modular design, so it will be scalable. You know, what we see is one big 146 inch TV, but behind the scenes, it's actually put together with smaller screens. so that Tiles. Tiles, as per se, so that you could really build uh, the right size TV for you with this technology. So, although we're here showing 146 inch, we can really create any size we want. Now, this is micro LED, which means tiny little red, green, and blue LEDs forming the pixels that are self emissive. So, no, no going through LCD panels, nothing like that. It's just direct LED, and we should we should say that it gets a hell of a lot brighter than just about any other technology available for the home right now. Yeah, so the micro LED technology, since it is built on uh, LFD or large format display, the brightness levels may, you know, we can go extremely bright here, but the self-emitting pixel uh, is one of the big things because backlit TVs, you know, some of that light leaks on through so you can't get the absolute black, but self-emitting, you know, for, for people at home, micro LED, you can actually think of it as a little red, a little green, a little blue light bulb in each pixel, so when we want black, we can actually shut that down and create these contrast levels that customers really want to see, especially when it comes to HDR, where we're going to the extremes in both dark and bright. Right. And I assume this will accommodate various HDR formats and so on once it becomes available. Yeah, so Samsung's big on HDR10 and HDR10+, Plus, which now adds dynamic metadata, so we will see that uh, on this display too. But, you know, one of the things with other self-emissive technologies that we've seen, you know, even our experience with plasma, is image retention and burn-in, which is not a case for uh, uh, L uh, these micro-LEDs. So micro-LED, we can go really bright, we can leave static images up, and not have to worry about image retention. There are so many uh, things that this, the uh, drawbacks of other technologies that this simply avoids altogether. Right, so we're, we're really addressing all the concerns, especially for the higher end video guys, off axis viewing, absolute black, brightness levels, HDR 10 plus with dynamic metadata. So really we're creating spec wise a TV that's really creme de la creme and a step ahead of anything else that's been out in the market. Now you're not really talking about any specs yet, right? Brightness, black level, contrast, any of that kind of stuff yet, right? Correct. So we're announcing that the product is available. The tech and spec will come at the product launch, which will happen very short time after CES. And I'm sure you're not talking about pricing, but I'm sure it ain't cheap. Right. So yeah, pricing will also come uh, a little late, so we can't really discuss the pricing at this point. But what we can discuss is, whatever the price is, I think it will be worth it. <laughs> I, I, I tend to agree. This is extremely exciting to me. Now the other big uh, announcement at the show that I just wanted to touch upon is that you have uh, a new QLED 8K 88-inch TV that's here as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So what we're showing is an 8K, you know, and 8K has been shown before, but what we're really focusing on now is this AI upscaling, where Samsung um, is going to be basically building a database of different types of things that we see on our screens, and then through the over-the-network uh, firmware updates that we normally offer our TVs, which might add features uh, or even picture enhancements, we'll now address upscaling. So as more and more content becomes available in, in all resolutions, whether it's uh, 720p, 1080, whether you're watching live sports or 4K, uh, Samsung TVs, as time goes by, will get better and better at upscaling through these firmware updates. So really, you know, looking to the future and making it the best TV be possible and continually getting better over time. I think one of the most important uh, attributes of that is there really isn't any 8K content at this point, so you really have to focus on the quality of the upscaling to that resolution, right? Correct. So, you know, a lot of people, especially here in America, are watching either 720 or 1080, depending on what channel you like to watch. But there um, is some 4K, certainly. Well, if you want to talk 4K, we could talk Amazon Prime, we can talk Netflix. A lot of the, you know, a lot of the uh, OTT partners have jumped on board with 4K, and obviously my favorite 4K 
Blu-ray for the absolute perfect and best picture possible. Um, but you know, 8K is important because what it does is it does make the pixel smaller. And you know, just four or five years ago, we were talking 55 and 60 inch TVs are the biggest, and now 65, 75, and even up into the 80s are becoming more of a thing. People's rooms aren't getting bigger, they're sitting closer to their screens. It's important to shrink those pixels down so that we can sit as close to the screen as possible and still enjoy it without seeing either a screen door effect or any of the pixels. So a real improvement, uh, especially for customers looking to go big. Well, and that's uh, 88 inches is certainly pretty big, and it is also a commercial product, right? It's going to be available to consumers. So we will be making, uh, I can't guarantee the actual size and what will come out, but uh, it will be plus 80 inch. Uh, you know, there's a either 85, 88, uh, that we, there are 85s here uh, showing 8K with AI. So um, you will see some 8K product from us in various sizes this year. Uh, they will have the AI upscaling. Uh, we're also showing a little bit of micro LED backlighting, which um, unlike the micro LED here, is changing the traditional LED backlights and making them micro so that we could put a lot more back there, which will give us much better control of local dimming and allow us even on our QLED TVs to also create the best in contrast, especially with HDR10 and the 10 plus dynamic metadata coming. Well, as some people have said, maybe the end of TV development, we're kind of at the, at the pinnacle. I say no. We've got a lot more stuff coming and this is very, very exciting. I, I couldn't agree more. Micro LED opens up a brand new technology for home TV, something we haven't seen before. A TV that goes bright, no image retention, no off-angle viewing, um, you know, really a television for the future. And then, you know, we're showing a big 146 inch like the wall back there. You know, you could use your TV for different things such as, uh, you know, an ambient display that's showing a clock, we're giving you, you know, some sort of widget-based thing like news, or uh, you know, even just create the big outdoor landscape that's about to come up behind me and make it like a window. <laughs> well, things certainly look bright here at Samsung. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.